Try my last ditch move. Emergency skills for junior patrollers. Lesson one CPR. Ugh. Well, never did it on any living person, though. <laughs> Chisia, sorry, sorry. You just woke up and here I am, chatting up a storm. <laughs> Are you all right? Do you feel any discomfort? You can call me Trisha. And she's Yang Yang. <laughs> we are in the Gorgeous Spirits. It's on the outskirts of Jinzhou, Huanglong. Your attire doesn't seem local. Are you a roving traveler from afar, or someone returning home? So, you don't know why you're here, where you're from, or who you are. Baisha didn't tell us you'd have these after effects when you wake up. The wind has brought us a warning. The Atheric Sea is converging. It seems a new tacit field is taking shape. That means it's probably gonna get dangerous here soon. are out of service because of the etheric sea's influence we can't send or receive messages for help now we better hurry over to meet up with baijia at our gathering spot and get out of here guess you really can't recall a thing but don't worry if you got any questions we can talk as we move ying ying and i will give you the full scoop every little detail from the get-go rover uh can we call you that for now before you remember your true name We shouldn't stay here. If you don't have other plans, how about leaving with us for now? Oh, that's great. Let's go together. Smart. 
English is actually my third language. Um, I am neither French nor Canadian, um, but um, yeah, French is my first language. So, um, anyways, yeah, um, the game is downloaded in French, but I noticed that the translation, um, like the characters were still talking in English, but I noticed that the translation in French was not very accurate and the names were not the same at all. Like, for example, here on screen you see that it says Leave Gorges of Spirits and in French I think it was called Yunlin something, so it was not very accurate and I did not really like that, so I couldn't wait to switch my settings um, once I was, like, able to do that in-game. <laughs> I just wanted to address that real quick because I got some questions here and there before when I was playing Engine Impact or like uh, um, on my, on the um, Engine Impact French video that I'd made and then so on like why do you speak French and how do you speak French and so on so I just wanted to address that real quick French is my first language, English is my third in case you're wondering, Arabic is my second language, and I am neither French nor Canadian. There are other countries in the world um, where people um, speak French and other languages. Um, so, yeah, just wanted to address that real quick. Um, anyways, aside from that, guys, let's focus on the game. So, I started by saying that the translation of the dialogues in French was not very accurate, but Honestly, the graphics were, as soon as it started, like, I tried not to have too much expectations because I, like, was afraid of being disappointed, but the graphics were, like, from the start, absolutely incredible. Whether it was, like, the, um, environment or the characters, the only thing I have to say would be about Yang Yang, um, and... She's the character dressed in blue, the one with the, the beret on her head. Um, the only thing that bothers me about her, I absolutely love her, her design, but I feel like the top of her hair is like too puffy, like it has too much volume somehow. But aside from that, you guys absolutely loved the rover's design, like she's just incredible and um, I was a little bit worried about the combat style, but it was incredible. Honestly, like, so fluid. And what I liked the most, you guys, is like, when you're like mid-attack, you can just like switch characters and like, the second character is gonna continue the attack, like, but like with their own style. And that was just incredible. Like, for real, it was amazing. Um, I have to say, there are a lot of things that I haven't yet checked, um, checked out in the game. But as far as, like, tutorials and beginnings go, I really, really enjoyed this one. Obviously, I don't want to compare it too much to Genshin Impact or Honkai Star Rail, but, um, it's a little bit similar it has a lot of, it has a lot of different aspects, um, but, yeah, I, I, I tried taking out everything, so as far as I understood, um, your characters basically have your usual kind of, like, stats, they have, like, um, skill attributes, levels, they also have constellations, however, like, I, did not, um, I don't remember what it was called, it's not constellations, but I don't remember what, what it was called, but one of the things that I liked the most, you guys, and I think we'll see that, um, um, later on the video, but it was the Echoes system, um, I don't want to spoil you guys, so I won't talk about it right now, but the Echoes system and how it works, I just thought it was amazing, it's basically, echoes are basically, if you're a Genshin Impact player, um, echoes are basically artifacts, quote-unquote, or 
lost somewhere. I almost gave up on it, um, but um, I tried to look around to see if I could find anything. It took me a little bit of time. <laughs> Fusion. 
start having the controller support it's going to work on a computer as well so I can't wait for that <laughs> really I really really can't wait for that um, so yeah so far just like I only have positive things to say about the game and I'm very curious to know
think that like they're they're so happy that they opened up the servers and like you know they got great great reception from everybody and everything and they said that they'd found some issues and they'd tried to fix them as quickly and pos as possible which is just amazing you guys and they also gave us and some other rewards like because of those issues and I'm just like I know they are trying to catch people's attention and players attention but you guys that is just amazing um, like believe me I <laughs> I work I work in IT I don't know if I've ever said that I work in IT and uh, the way I see work sometimes I feel like they don't have their they don't have their clients experience in mind which is baffling sometimes but seeing that with withering waves I'm just like oh my god this is incredible and I hope they continue doing that they continue trying to please their audience and their players because this is basically what is going to get them as many players as possible and as much money as possible, you know? So yeah, um, obviously you guys talking about money, I think for now I will remain a free to play on Withering Waves because I think I learned from my mistakes, um, I don't know if I had said that, um, before but it's a decision that I had taken very, very recently. I decided to stop playing Honkai Star Rail. I just, the game is not for me. The quests to me are not as interesting, as interesting as, you know, I just, I don't, I didn't have fun with the game anymore. So I uninstalled it. Maybe I'll go back to it at some point, but for now, I don't think I'll play anymore. However, I did spun, spend a couple of bucks which I do regret because I basically spent money to get some characters that I won't even ever use. So I think I learned from my mistake until I am sure 100% that I like a game that I will be invested in it. I will remain a free to play. Um, it's not something I regret about Kenshin Impact. Kenshin Impact is a game that I play a lot. I am taking a break from it right now because like some sort of burnout <laughs> but um, I feel like the characters that I invested in or that I spent money on it's like it was money well spent basically they're all characters that I used and so on so yeah but about withering waves I will remain a free to play until I am sure that I am really really enjoying the game and um, to be honest, there's no reason for me to spend money on it right now because um, I'm not sure who is running with Jin Yan. I don't know if there are two banners or just one banner, but I am not really interested in Jin Yan. And also, the game gave us, or is going to give us by the end of the patch, 108 pulls. So I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to get Jin Yan with those pulls, you know. If, if I'm interested in him, that is, um, obviously I've yet to, I've yet to try him out. So, uh, but from all the gameplay that I saw and from, like, his, um, teaser that was released a couple of days ago, I feel like he is a really, really incredible character, like a really strong character. But I do wonder if he's going to be easy, easy to play. Because, for example, I really liked the rover's ability, um, abilities, actually, but when it came to Yang Yang or Jishia, I had a little bit of, I had a little bit of trouble uh, with their abilities, so maybe it's just because I still have, like, to, you know, play more than an hour to understand what is happening with the abilities and the story and stuff, but you guys, I mean, so far, so far, I'm really, really happy about, I'm really happy about the game, <laughs> you guys, um, I am so very excited to keep on playing, um, and, you know, I might be disappointed because I have to play on my phone, but it's actually very convenient because, as I said, a bit, I've been bedridden for the past couple of days, and, as in, if I 
is on the 22nd but they never specified like a specific time or an hour they only said May 22nd Pacific time okay so for me if you don't mention a specific time it means that it's going to release at midnight so I'd made all the calculations and
<laughs> yeah. But anyways, hopefully, um, Withering Waves is going to help me relax a little bit. <laughs> Who knows? But so far, you guys, I only, I really only have pos positive things to say about the game. I think the negative stuff that I mentioned. Well, 